Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of NEP's Bible Study. I hope all is going well with you and your families. Uh, let me just pop the chat open here so I can see what people are saying. But uh, we, pr we pray that all is going well with you and your families, and I really hope that you enjoyed uh, this Sunday's service with Bishop Choate. It was a great time. We had a lot of fun. And uh, it was really awesome seeing the bishop back on the pulpit again. Uh, and as usual, we like to try and um, give everybody a chance to to get, log in. So we're just going to take a couple minutes while some people try to log in. And if you'll no notice, I have my, my wife, Masha, with Hello. me today. <laughs> so Hi. I'm excited to have her join me today. Been trying to get her for a while. Finally, she's here. So it's a new season. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the word, right? Yeah. Hello, Sister Melissa. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see all of our friends out there. We're excited for a new year. We're really excited for what God's gonna do, and where He's gonna take us, and the things He's gonna teach us and move us to new levels and heights in Him. Uh, I really think that's going to be a fun year. And as we all have said, it's good to be finally past 2020. It's been a tough year for all of us, but we made it. Yes. We made it. We Whether we had to scratch our way, claw our way, or whatever we had we to do, it. we made it yeah. through. And so we're excited to be on the other side of that. And hey, how you doing, pa pa Pastor Najem? Good to see you. Hi, Pastor Najem. God bless you. Hi, Marie. <laughs> and we got our, my cousin Marie is with us. Oh, it's awesome to see everybody. Praise God. But we have a, a, a message that we want to share with you today and just talk about the goodness of the Lord and what he's doing and what he's going to do in our lives. This message that I have today is very close to my heart because it's, it's things that I've been going through personally as well. So, uh, I believe that it's going to bless your hearts, and um, we gave it a couple minutes. we got enough people on here now. I'm sure people will be able to catch up. But um, what I wanted to talk to you about today is a message that God did give me today. And the title of today's Bible study is entitled, Pray for the Rain, but Prepare, I mean, Pray for the Sun, but Prepare for the Rain. And as you know, a lot of us, we go through ups and downs in our lives, mm -hmm. lots of things going on in our lives, you know, especially in this day and age. And a lot of time we all get excited for and we are looking forward to trying to get to the season where we get to be in bask in the sun, you know, mm -hmm. always looking for the good time, you know. But what God was sharing with me was that we have to understand that it's not just all about the sunshine, but also, the rain has a very important part of our development and of our life's process as well. Um, and a lot of times, God allows us to go through the rain so we can learn some things. Mm -hmm. Some things that we can't learn easily, you know, just by always having good times. <laughs> you know, if we always had good times, you know, it would be easy to walk through life. And But we have to go with the good times as well as the bad times. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of a, a, an example that I had when I had gotten a new job. And in this new job, I was having a hard time trying to understand the new concepts and the things that I was being taught on the job. And it was, it was difficult. And I was studying and I was trying to get it, but it just wasn't coming easy. Mm. And then one day I ended up having a problem occur and I broke something. And I broke something in a major way and everybody was going crazy and it was a big fire drill and, you know, I, I was nervous and all kinds of stuff. So I had to tell my boss and everybody had to get involved with it. But you know what happened? I had to dig deep and understand the problem so that I can figure out how to solve it. And we all worked together and we solved the problem. But you know what? Through that process of having to go through that fire drill of making that mistake and having to dig my way through it, I came out on the other side and I was so much more knowledgeable 
about the job than I ever had been or would have been if I would have just tried to kind of slowly learn everything. Mm. But that experience opened my eyes to the fact that we get a lot out of our lives and our experiences when we have to struggle. Mm. That struggle, it is important for our development. And God wants us to understand that, you know, we can learn more through the tough times than we ever will through the sunny times. The sunny times when we coast, when we get to bask in the glory of the things that we learn and our experiences and all those things. But it's those tough times that really define us as, as who we are as Christians and our character as well. Yeah. So it's really important that we understand that. All right, amen. <laughs> and another thing that I was reminded of is how in the Bible, it is full of this same exact pattern. You know, God would deliver his people, they'd be doing well, they'd be basking in the glory of the sun, and then they'd get comfortable. And then after they'd get comfortable, they'd lose the sight of who they were and their responsibilities as Christians. They'd forget all about the wonderful things that God had done for them. And that's why I just wanted to make the point that it is just as dangerous when we're in the sunny times, because in the good times, that's when Christians tend to let their guard down Mm -hmm. and we forget about the things and the responsibilities that we have as Christians because everything is so good. Everything is so comfortable. It's like being wrapped up in a warm blanket (laughs) in your bed. That's the word, comfortable. Yeah. You know, when you get in that warm, comfortable (laughs) bed and it's a, and it's a sunny day, I mean, it's a cold day out. You don't want to get out. No. You enjoy that sunny. Yep. You enjoy that, that comfortableness. Warm blanket. <laughs> yeah. So we get comfortable in those ways. And as a result, we have a tendency to revert back into our old ways or or, or let our guard down and, and, and lose focus of our responsibilities as Christians or what God has asked us to do. And you see that over and over again in the Bible. He would deliver his people. They would be excited for a season and for a little while and they'd be excited, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, they'd fall back in their old ways, and then God would have to bring the judgment down, Mm. and we would just go through that cycle. But again, during that judgment time, he would have to teach them all over again. He'd have to reestablish himself again in their lives. Mm. And so it was very important that we understand the importance of the rainy seasons. Everything is about the seasons. And we have to understand the importance of those rainy seasons as much as we enjoy the good seasons. Mm -hmm. And it also reminded me about the uh, story of um, Jonah. And what God was showing me is that Jonah was in a particular place in his life where he was extremely blessed and highly favored. I mean, he he was the prophet of the time. He got an opportunity to travel all over the countryside, and he also got to be in the presence of kings and and, and men of power all over. And so he was blessed. And in that season, he was getting to go and minister to people and give the word of God, and everybody called upon him. Mm -hmm. But then the time came that his rainy season came, and God asked him to do something that he wasn't comfortable with Mm -hmm. and that he didn't want to do. But God needed him to do something for him. He wanted him to go to Nineveh and give the word. Yeah. And because he didn't want to do this, we know the story. You know, he tried to be disobedient to God and got himself into a, 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 a tough situation on his way to Jonah. And yeah, we all know what happened after that. Mm-hmm. But the point was that... The belly of the fish. Yes, <laughs> the belly of the fish. But the point was that, you know, we have to understand that when the tough times come that God is in that too God is in the good times and he's also in the bad times he's also in the difficult times shaping us and molding us so that we can be complete and that we can fulfill his promises and his purpose in our life so it's really important that we understand that and we don't look at the rainy seasons negatively Mm -hmm. because that's what we all, I mean, I know we all have a tendency to do. We look at that as though it's a negative thing. But God said to me, ask the question with too much rain and not enough sun, what do we tend to get? 
when it's too much rain and we don't get enough sun, then we end up getting floods and we get flooding. And if we have too much sun and not enough rain, what do you end up getting? In that case, you end up getting droughts. So the question is, which one is better? Or if we reverse that and stand it on its head, which one is worse? The point is they both have a purpose. They both have a reason for existing. And if we can understand that, and if we can come to the understanding of what God is trying to do through those particular seasons, through those particular times, then we will be better off. And we will not only will we be better off, but when we go through those seasons of rain or we go through those seasons when it's difficult, our mindset will be different when we go through it. And we will know that we will be able to expect that and know what we will be entitled to when we make it through to the other side. Yes. So is it- it's funny you're saying that because. We were reading our book, our book club is reading this book and it was talking about where are you God and and, and the, the author was talking about being in the desert and this is just like being in the, in the desert when he's preparing you for something, he's revealing some things in you and, 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 a, and, a, and bringing out those things that he might need to change or the things that he might need to enhance in you and and we don't look at it like that. We just focus in on the fact that it's raining. We're, we, it's raining and I don't like it. It's messing up my hair, my outfit. <laughs> it's raining and I don't want anything to do with it. But if you just stop and listen and pay attention, you'll understand why it's raining. And then you can follow the path that he provides for us in the rain. And, and so we're able to get out of it with growth. And... and that's what I just wanted to add to it. Yeah, that's that's true. And I, I like what you said about the, the growth. When the rain comes, not only does it keep us from drought, but it allows us to grow, like in, in the natural sense of things. Yeah. When that rain comes, when that reason Waters season comes, yeah. it may seem negative, like she said, when it, when it hits that hair and that <laughs> hair starts to beat up. <laughs> you might look at that as a negative, but... But at the same time, that rain is coming and we're getting that growth. It's feeding us and it's allowing us to grow and reach heights that we could not have gotten to Mm -hmm. if we didn't have that rain. Without that rain, we don't get that growth. So it's important and vital to understand the importance of that rain. Mm -hmm. And again, like I said, we can't despise the rain. And, Mm -hmm. And we can't allow the rainy seasons to to change our mindset and our beliefs in right. what we once thought. Yep. yep. So for example, let me give you another example. Um, as I mentioned before, we're building this house. And when we started building this house, it was like, yes, God's doing it. We're going to get blessed. And God's doing all this miraculous thing. And it's this is a blessing. And we're going to build this house. And we were all excited going through plans and doing all these things. And we were so excited for what God was getting ready to do for us. And it was such a blessing. <laughs> and then we started going through the process of building this God, house. And I will tell you, <laughs> at every single step, at the every process. single corner, it seems like there is something coming against us against to, for building this house. Mm. And it's like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen now? You know, you get frustrated and you get upset and you start getting mad and... And as the last time somebody something happened and they were like, it's going to cost us X amount of money more than we, they had said in the beginning. I was like, are you kidding me? We don't have that kind of money. And I started thinking to myself, well, is this really what God wants us to do? Or, you know, this maybe this isn't the blessing we thought it was. And, and we start and, and, it, and it was easy to slip so subtly yes. and easily into yep. that old way of thinking that. The thing that at just a little while ago, we were saying it was a blessing. We were so excited about what God was doing. And just because we hit some adversity, all of a sudden, not only is we think, question whether it's a blessing, we question whether this is what God wanted us to do in the first place. And, and it's just amazing when, when I think about it and I have to catch myself and I have said, no, no, God said it. I believe it that settles it. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to get that in my spirit. I had to get that in my mindset. 
I can't allow the devil to trick me mm. or allow the situation that God has put me in to to yeah, allow me to so will. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I think he said, be sober, be vigilant, be watchful at all times. You know, I think that's why he has it in there. But we tend to not do that. We tend to not be those things that we need to be. And we forget and get distracted by the situation. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Distracted is a very good word. Very good word. Because, you know, it's easy when we start off, we're so focused, we're so clear of mind, we're so resolute in our purpose, and we have a, a, a sure mind as to what we're going to do and what God is going to do. And then all of a sudden, ad adversity hits us and we get shaken. Yep. <laughs> we get shaken. I know I do. <laughs> we get shaken and all of a sudden, our, our whole entire mind is just messed, Changed. messed up. Yeah, it's true. And we lose that focus. We were so focused on what God was going to do, what God said about his blessings and every single little thing. And then all of a sudden, we get knocked off of our mm. focus with the situation comes in and it disrupts our thinking yeah i said i said i wonder if the the process is the rainy season we don't like the process we don't like the rainy season <laughs> we just got to focus in yeah and i don't know i don't know a lot of people that like the the process i don't i don't and like the thing about it too is that we don't that we have to understand is that whenever we grow there is going to be pain. Yep. Just as in the natural world, I, I remember when my son, my, I didn't have a lot of it myself, but my kids, as you can see how <laughs> tall they are, they had a lot of growing pains. Mm -hmm. But myself, I didn't experience that, so I can't attest to that. But they tell me <laughs> <laughs> when you grow a lot very quickly that you get a lot of pain mm -hmm. and it hurts oh, and your joints yes. hurt. And it's really a painful experience. But they say that that experience is excruciating at times. And my kids, I remember when they were growing, they were always mm -hmm. complaining about their knees. And mm -hmm. we, had to, yes. we had to give them Advil, all kinds of things. I but the see. pain was excruciating to them. And it's no different in the real world. Mm -hmm. Amen. In, in the, the spiritual, spiritual world, world yeah. you're going to go through things. You're going to experience things. And it's going to be painful. And it's going to be frustrating. And you're going to wonder why, and you're going to sometimes even question yeah, why. Yeah. And but the point is that you are going to go through it, and on the other side, you're going to experience that growth. Yes. That yes. growth that God is trying to bring you through. And yes. and the funny thing about that that I, I that God was showing to me is that, you know, when my kids were small and they were going through that that growing spurts. We had a little place in our house, our door frame in our house. And every time they grew a little bit, they want to run to that door frame yep. and stand with their back to the door frame. And we do a little we mark it. and we, we, we tick it and say, all right, but at this such a, such a date and time, you are this height yes. at the, and at this age. And we mark that on the calendar. And the funny thing is, there was only very, 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 very minute changes in their height. It was just a little bit of growth. Mm -hmm. But when they saw that growth, when they saw that difference, yeah. no matter how small it was, they, so, they would get they so excited and, and so <laughs> happy and say, see, yeah. I'm taller now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and they would be excited about that growth. Mm -hmm. And that's the same mindset that we as Christians need to have as well. Mm -hmm. That when we, when we look at our life, when we get through those growing pains and we see the growth, we have to pay attention to that growth. So it may not be, it, yes, exactly. It may not seem like a whole lot. It may just be a tiny little yes. bit. Yeah. But don't look at that tiny little bit and think it's nothing. That tiny little bit is significant. Yes. It Amen. means a lot. Amen. Any growth is good. Any growth should be applauded and, and, and we should get excited about that growth. And we should make sure that we pay attention to the growth because it's so easy to remember when things go bad. Oh, I, yes. I mean, not just as Christians, we as humans Human. in general. Yep. When things go bad, we, we, we harp on it. We, we think about it. it we forever. complain about it. We talk to anybody that will listen. We do that all the time. 
But when we get these small little growths, we don't talk no. about it at all. We don't consider we, it. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly true. We don't even consider it. We don't even think of it as anything. As anything yeah. But God said, don't despise those small, small beginnings. Yes. As Pastor Miser said, it is significant. It is important. Growth is growth and it's important no matter what the circumstance is. And God is moving us into new areas and he's allowing us to grow. So we got to remember that. I want to read you this scripture in Ecclesiastes 7 verses 13 and 14. And it says, consider what God has done. Who can strengthen what he has made crooked? I mean, straighten what he has made crooked. When times are good, be happy. But when times are bad, consider this. God has made the one as well as the other. And that just goes to continue to reiterate what I was saying earlier, that even when we're going through things, we got to remember God made one as much as he made the other. Just as, as we go through our difficult times, it's just as important as when we go through our good times. Mm-hmm. And just keep your mind stayed on him. The Bible said he will keep you in perfect peace whose mind mind is stayed stayed on me. So when you're fighting through those times and when you're experiencing those growing pains and when the situation is not quite what you would like, but you know that it's, you know, you're doing what God has told you to do. Hold on. Be encouraged. Don't be discouraged. Know that God has a plan for you and he is working you through that plan no matter how 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 difficult it may seem. Mm-hmm. Amen. Just keep that keep your keep yourself encouraged and keep fighting through. Keep fighting through. <laughs> I'm looking over here in in the chat I saw that that image from Sister Fran. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, so um so just understand, God has got your back. He's going to get you through the experience. He's going to get you through that experience, but um just start to In the experience, understand that the growth is coming. And when you're in the experience, get excited about that. If you have to stay focused on something, stay focused on that. Stay focused on what. Whatsoever that is good. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. Try to think that it's going to happen. I'm going to go through this. But when I get through to the other side, there is something there. There will be a reward for me on that other side. Amen. And we just have to lock into that and expect that and, and be excited about that. And let that kind of carry you through. Amen. Amen. I know like when I go to the gym and I was going to the gym for a while and I was being very dedicated and I was like, I'm going to do this. <laughs> and you know, now is the new year. So yes. everybody's in the gym now. I was talking to my, my nephew, Steven, and he works out at the gym all the time. And he came over the other day and I was like, oh, you went to the gym? He's like, yeah. So said, yeah, but I don't like it now because, first of all, he said, you got all the old people in there because it's the New Year's resolution <laughs> and everybody's trying to go to the gym. <laughs> and like, really, you people. have to point out us old I folks. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, yeah, all the old people are there because of the New, Re- New Year's resolution. But when I used to go to the gym, I used to get in that treadmill and uh, or the elliptical machine and I would be going and I'd be going and I'd push myself and I'd push myself And at times I wanted to stop Mm -hmm. and it was painful and I was tired and I was cramping up, but I was like, I got to keep going because I know if I keep doing this, if I could just be consistent, if I can be persistent and I can endure through this, the reward on the other side will be me getting rid of this tummy and I get this (laughs) stomach down and I can look like I want to get. So the reward for me at that time was worth the pain. Mm. The re- reward of looking through the circumstances, looking past the treadmill, looking past the cramps and all the rest of it was worth the re- worth it because the reward was so great to me. Yeah. So we have to get that mindset when we're going through our trials. Yes. When we're in our rainy season, understand that it's worth it because that growth is going to come And with that growth comes new circumstances, new experiences in Christ, new relationship with Christ that will bring you to even greater heights and greater rewards with him. Yeah, I just wanted to just bring a picture to you. If you think of like a cocoon, the caterpillar that's locked in that cocoon, 
um, when when they do mature, they have to fight their way through. They have to break through that cocoon, and I'm sure it's not going to be easy and 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 not hurtful to them. But they have to fight through. And usually, if someone helps them, they end up coming out lacking. Amen. But so they have to fight through that cocoon. The same thing. If you take a look at when they they show a flower blooming, it's like bursting through uh, uh, like something that's it's bursting through it's pushing its way through and that's what he was talking about the endurance the perseverance you got to push through it and it's hard i'm not going to say it's easy <laughs> it is very hard but understand that the, the the gold the goal that you're going to reach the growth that's going to happen the bloom that's going to come into your life at, when, when we do persevere and 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 have that endurance through it. it 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 we end up using it in other trials moving forward you know what i'm saying so i just want you to get that locked in on on that yes that's a good analogy that's a good analogy we do we have to fight our way through we got to fight our way through yeah. and 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 but like i said earlier that as we are fighting our way through we have to remember that it's for a reason yes yep. it's for a reason God has a plan for us. He has a plan for you. Every single one of us, he has a plan for us. Everybody's plan is different. Everybody's experience is different. But it's still the same in the sense that God is bringing us through this so that we can have a new relationship, a deeper yes. relationship, a stronger yes. relationship. Amen. Amen. He can move us to that next level yes. in our relationship with him. So grab hold of that hold on to that and 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 believe and trust in him and he will make a way for you through the situation mm -hmm. and i want to just reference another scripture back in ecclesiastics 9 and 11 it says um it says in there i returned and saw under the sun that the race is not 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 to the swift nor the battle to the strong mm -hmm. and i just want to just remind us of that because you know when we when we're younger or we're we're in church, I know I've grown up in church all my life. You hear all these, all these scriptures and verses quoted all the time, and we we kind of sing them in songs and we just say them at a glance. But it's important that sometimes we really, we read the words and we process them and understand what they're trying to say. Yeah. The fact that it's saying that it's not given to the swift means that it's not somebody that's swift is somebody that can run a very quick and a very short, short distance. Right. It's a short distance. And the point in, that they were trying to convey is that we have to have endurance. Mm, yes. We have to have endurance because it's going to take a little bit to sometimes get through some of these situations and some of these trials. So we have to understand it's not about how quick we are. It's not about how fast we are. But it's about those that can endure through their situations. Yes. Those who can endure through the trials. Those who are determined and have made up in their mind that they're not going to let anything stop, stop them right? from reaching their full spiritual potential. And that's what that we have to make sure that we have in our mind. And then again, as I said, oh, um, God is in the midst of it. And God knows the plans that he has for our lives. He has plans to prosper us and he has plans to do good with, with us and for us. So just know that God has our best interest in heart and he's not going to do anything to utterly destroy us. Yeah. Everything he does for us is to better us, is to uplift us, yeah. to encourage us and strengthen us. And that's what we have to know, that God really loves us. Yeah. Amen. He truly yeah, does. Yeah, and I, I, I really want to push that scripture, though, um, Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. Um, I know my niece and I, we had, like, homework to do, and I gave her this homework, and I'm like, you have to get it done. It's a spiritual homework, and you have to get it done by the end of the week, and I'm telling her to do this, and then she comes back, and my niece, Alana, she's like, I failed, Aunt Marsha, I failed. And I was like, how can you fail? What's wrong with you? But then... The scripture came to my mind. It's so funny that, and then I called her. I was like, Alana, I'm sorry. <laughs> the The word said the race is not given to the swift, but to the one that endured. That means it's a long distant running. It's a journey. And we have to remember that. It's a journey that we're, we're on. 
and and when you're on a journey where you things happen things happen yes. things come things try to get you off the, the journey things try to move you but you have to remember it's a journey it's a straight and narrow journey and few find it so make yeah. sure when you're on it you lock in you lock in on, on the holy spirit if you if you will you only see him just a little teeny weeny bit like a crack in the sky where there's like a a, a shrain you know it's raining but there's like this little crack and then the sun is peeping through lock in on that because i i know the rain can be heavy at times it, it can be very heavy at times but remember if we just lock in on on think on on those things whatsoever is good kind of good report even when you're feeling down lock in on those things and give him the glory praise him in advance pastor lee had a had a, had a message about praising in advance you don't see anything but you know it's coming praise him in advance and that's how perseverance and endurance and patience and time kick in for you the the fruit of the spirit that's how it, it kicks in and you hold on to them and you don't allow the enemy and situation circumstance to take that away from you because you need to hold on to your fruit because the enemy is robbing us of our fruits and we just got to lock in with it when when the rainy season comes amen that is so true that is so true and and I just want to, I just want to say, say, say one more thing in ending, and that is, we just want to end by challenging us all to remember not to be fearful of the rain, mm. but to learn from it. Yeah. Understand its purpose so that you can get the message and know that whatever you are going through, as long as you are in God's will, then it is part of God's plan for yeah. your life. Yeah. So even though we will go through these circumstances, know that it's God's will yes. for your life, for my, for my life, for our life. Nobody is beyond and nobody is above. Mm -mm. There is nobody that no. ever lived that was above getting <laughs> tried and going through circumstances. Not even Jesus. Not even, <laughs> not even Jesus. Right in it. <laughs> Everybody will go through yes. trials everybody will experience a rainy season Amen. that is a promise if ever there was a promise to be made rain that is, is the promise rain is coming <laughs> yes <laughs> that it is that it is so again don't miss the message that is to be given that is to be learned from Amen. your season Amen. Amen. embrace it learn from it use it to fuel your future Amen. to propel you forward but that's pretty much it. We just wanted to share those words with you and get that message out to you and uh, encourage you as we go into this new year because um, it, even though 2020 was a horrible year and we're so yeah. excited to get be through it, don't think that 2021 is going to be all sunshine and, and moonbeams. Rain is coming. <laughs> because in every season and every time, there's going to be an experience that you have to fight your way through. Mm -hmm. Amen. So be ready, be prepared, get your mindset right, yeah. get your mind right, wow. and let's be ready to persevere and, and make our way through. Right. And again, remember to learn the lesson that oh. you are going to, yes. to learn from that experience. Yes. Yep. Yep. Don't have to go through it twice. No, nope. do it once. <laughs> yes, <laughs> trust me, you don't want to have to go through it over and over again. So we pray that you enjoy the word of God that went forth today. And we're just praying that you guys have a wonderful week. And we hope that you get a chance to join us on Sunday at church at NEP Ministries in Pelham, New Hampshire, for those of you that can. Um, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Melissa said, let's get ready let's to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I remember that. I had a message with that one before, Amen. too. Amen. That is true. <laughs> That's funny. So. Yeah, the year. roll up our sleeves and let's yeah. get ready to do work because yeah. it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a tough year, but it's gonna be a very rewarding year mm -hmm. too. We're gonna get our, we're gonna get our growth. It's gonna yeah. be well worth it. Amen. It's gonna Amen. be well worth it. You don't go, God doesn't put us through trials in these situations for no reason. There is something to be gained. Yeah. There is something Amen. to be gained and something to be had. So, be encouraged. Be blessed. Continue to 
seek God's face for yourself, Amen. for your family, yes. for all your, your circumstances. And we're, we're looking forward to great things in this new year of 2021. Mm -hmm. So be encouraged. And at this time, is there anything else you wanted to add? No, nope. <laughs> that's it. I okay. love you guys. <laughs> yes. And again, we, we, we love you guys. We really, truly appreciate you guys. And we're just always encouraged by, by, by you and all the words of kindness and the thoughts that you guys have. Just uh, know that we love you very much. Yeah. Let's just bow our heads and have a, a moment of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for thank the words you. that you have blessed us to hear this day. We pray that they have fallen on good grounds, Lord God. We pray that you continue to bless us, Lord, as we continue to seek your face for our lives, yes. Lord God, and that of our family. Yes. We ask you to continue to bless us, keeping us in your care, Lord thank God. You. Each and every one of us, we thank you, we love you, and give you all the glory and the praise in your name we pray. In your name. Amen. 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 <laughs> Sister Fran was another one. <laughs> yeah. uh, awesome. God bless you guys bless all. You. And you guys have a wonderful week. And we will catch you. Remember, next week is the second Tuesday. So Bishop, Bishop will be speaking. Is. So don't yes. miss it. Yes. Amen. God amen. bless you. Bye. Have a good week.